Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a quail. The size when crocheted in 8 ply wool, this one, is 15.5 cm by 13 cm or 6 inches by 5 inches. And this quail here, crocheted in 4 ply crochet cotton, is 9 cm by 11.5 cm or 3.5 inches by four and a half inches. Now I'll be using four ply crochet cotton today. I've got white, light brown, dark brown, black and grey. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and to embroider the black dot on the eye. I've got a 1.5 millimetre crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends and my scissors. Now I'm going to start on the head, so I work the head and then down the back and the tail. So using my grey I make a magic loop. So I put the hook on my cotton, bring the short end over the hook, take the long end over the short end, put the yarn around the hook and take it, the hook with the yarn through the circle. And that's my magic loop. For row one, I work one chain and then I work 12 half double crochet into my circle. A half double crochet is called a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the circle through the front and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops and I need 11 more half double crochet Then I pull the circle tight, so I take hold of the tail and ease the circle in. And then I join the circle with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. For a slip stitch I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And that's row one done. For row two we work one chain and then we turn our work and we work two single crochet into the first stitch. A single crochet is called a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. And we need one more single crochet into that same stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Next we work one half double crochet into the same stitch as our last single crochet. Then we work two double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And we need one more double crochet in that same stitch. And we've got nine stitches. For row three, we start with three chain and turn our work. We work two double crochet in the first stitch. One 
one half double crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches so we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left Now we're going to work a joined single crochet over our last two stitches. For a joined single crochet put your hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the last stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 4 we start with 3 chain and we're going to work a joined double crochet over the first two stitches. We turn our work first. So for a joined double crochet, yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take your hook through two loops, yarn around the hook and take your hook through the remaining three loops and then we work one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch for row 5 we start with one chain and turn and we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have nine stitches so one single crochet into each of our nine stitches For row 6 we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet into each of our 9 stitches. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch.
and then work one single crochet into each of the next five stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have six stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have seven stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. For row 13 we work one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over our first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have six stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and to join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have four stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and then work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn, 
worker joined, single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over our two stitches. Now rows 20 to 28 are worked the same. We would start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into our stitch. So that was row 20. We need to do the same for rows 27 to um, 21 to 28. So one chain and turn and one single crochet into each stitch to the end into our stitch, sorry. and repeat that until we have 28 rows. That was row 21. I've worked my 28 rows, now I work 12 chain Next I work one slip stitch into each stitch down the chain except for the first chain So I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each stitch. For a slip stitch, put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on your hook. And repeat that down the chain. Now we're going to work a slip stitch into each stitch up the back. So the back is this side here. So just find a suitable place to put your hook. and then work a slip stitch into each stitch. Up the back to the head.
Now once I get to the head, I'm going to work a single crochet into the stitches around. Normally one single crochet into each stitch, but occasionally I may need to work two single crochet into a stitch. If it starts to slope back, work two single crochet into the stitch. And then continue around to the tip of the tail, working one slip stitch into each stitch. So I'll continue around to the tail and then I'll be back. Once we get back near the end of the tail, we slip stitch into the tip of the tail and fasten off. Now I'll just weave in those ends to make it easier to see and we'll be back to do the stomach. Now for this tummy section, I join my light brown cotton four stitches down from this corner piece. So just in here and I work one chain and slip stitch into the next stitch up towards the corner Then I slip stitch into the corner stitch. And turn my work. And I work one single crochet into the top of the chain. So just in there. And then I work one chain and turn my work. For row three I work two single crochet into that first stitch. And then I work one single crochet into each stitch across. And I should have seven stitches. I've got seven stitches, now I slip stitch into the next stitch along the side here and then slip stitch into the following stitch. And turn your work now we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have eight stitches. I've worked one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, now two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end of the row and I'll have eight stitches.
and then slip stitch into each of the next two stitches up the side and turn. For row 6 we work two single crochet into the first stitch one single crochet into each of the next five stitches and then one half double crochet into each remaining stitch For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn, work 1 half double crochet into each of the next 6 stitches And then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And then two single crochet into the last stitch. We'll have 10 stitches. And then slip stitch into each of the next two stitches up the side. For so row 8, we turn our work and work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and a joined double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 9 we start with 3 chain and turn. We work one double crochet into each of the first three stitches. one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and work two single crochet into the last stitch and then slip stitch into each of the next two stitches up the side. For row 10 we turn our work, we work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch. And a join double crochet over the last two stitches.
for row 11 we start with 3 chain and turn our work. Work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And we'll have eight stitches. and then slip stitch into the next two stitches up the side. For row 12 we turn our work and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. One double crochet into the next stitch and a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 13 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work a join double crochet over the first 2 stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end and we'll have six stitches. And then slip stitch into each of the next two stitches up the side. For row 14 we turn our work and work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have five stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single and half double crochet over the first two stitches. So put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take your hook with the yarn through all the loops. And then work one double crochet into each of the following three stitches. and then slip stitch into the side where your last double crochet meets and turn your work. For row 16 work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches
and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 17, start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in the first stitch and a joined single crochet in the over the last two stitches. Then slip stitch into the side and then slip stitch into the next stitch on the side and turn. For row 18, work a joined single crochet over the two stitches and turn and then slip stitch into the next stitch on the side and fasten off. Now we're going to work a neatening row just around the tummy part. So join the brown cotton in the stitch before we joined our brown last time. And work one slip stitch in each stitch around the tummy part, back to the tail. And then slip stitch into the tail part and fasten off. So I'll just weave in the ends and I'll give it a quick press and then we'll be back to put on the claws. Now for this front claw I start about halfway between the front of the tummy part in the back. So it will be about this stitch here. I'm using my dark brown and I work 10 chain. I miss the first chain 
and I work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. And then I work two chain. That's for that little piece there. I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch in the second chain. And then I work one slip stitch into each of the next two chain of the original chain. Then I work two chain. I miss the first chain and work a slip stitch into the second chain. And then work one slip stitch into each stitch up to the body. Then I slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And that's the first claw done. For the second claw we join our dark brown four stitches back from our first claw. And work 10 chain. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches. Then work two chain and work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Do that again, it's not quite right. And then I work four chain. I miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the remaining chain. and then work two slip stitch into the original chain. So one into each of the next two chain. Then work two chain, work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then work one slip stitch into each stitch up to the body. and slip stitch into the body and fasten off. And there's the claws done. Now for the wing, using my dark brown, I make a magic loop. and work two chain. Into my circle I work one half double crochet. 
and I pull the circle tight. For row 2, I start with 2 chain. I work 2 half double crochet into my stitch. And 1 half double crochet into the top of the chain. For row 3, I start with 2 chain and turn. I work 2 half double crochet in, into the first stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into the top of the chain. For row four, I start with two chain and turn. I work two half double crochet into the first stitch. one half double crochet into each stitch to the end and I've got <coughs> five stitches for row five I start with two chain and turn I work two half double crochet into the first stitch and then one half double crochet into each stitch to the end and I'll have six stitches. For row six I start with two chain and turn and work one half double crochet over each of my six stitches. For row 7 I start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. 1 half double crochet into each of the next 2 stitches. And a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 8 I start with 2 chain and turn. I work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches and a joined half double crochet over the last 2 stitches. And for row 9 I start with 2 chain and turn and work a joined half double crochet over my two stitches. And that's the wing done except for a neatening row. I'm going to work one slip stitch into each stitch around. So I'll continue around the row and I'll be back when I get near the end. When I get to the end of the row I fasten off and that's the wing done. Now I'll start on the face marking now. I'll start with the black and I'll make a magic loop.
I work one chain and then into my circle I work five single crochet. I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And then I work eight chain. For row two, I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. A joined single crochet over the next two stitches. One half double crochet into the following stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. And then one treble into each remaining chain. A treble is called a double treble using UK terms. For a treble, put your yarn around the hook twice. Hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take your hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook through the next two loops and yarn around the hook and through the remaining two loops. And we need one treble into each stitch remaining chain. And then we slip stitch into the circle where our treble meets. So we miss a few stitches and work a slip stitch in the next stitch. And that's the part that goes down the front of the bird. Now we'll work this other part at the back. We start with five chain. We slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then work one single crochet into each remaining chain. We slip stitch into the next stitch on the circle and fasten off. And that's the black part of the face marking done. I'll weave in those ends and we'll be back and put on these white sections. Now for this line of crocheting here we join in the second stitch here I've got my white work one slip stitch into the next stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch up to the join And fasten off.
Now for this row of stitching here, we join probably the second stitch from the end, our white again. And work one slip stitch in the next stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch to the corner. and pass them off. While I've got my white, I'll work the eye. So I start with a magic loop and work one chain and work four single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and pass them off. And I've got a small circle. I'll just weave in the ends and then I'll be back and will work this part here using my light brown. Now for this bit we join just in the side of the white at the top. So the one that goes along the top. And we're going to work one double crochet in to about the third stitch down. So put your hook, yarn around your hook, hook into this stitch down here, probably miss one and into the next one, and work a double crochet. So it's up against the side of our work, and then we're going to work another double crochet into the bottom of our first double crochet. So yarn around the hook, hook into the bottom part of your previous double crochet. And then we're going to work a third double crochet into the bottom of the second double crochet. So we've got three double crochets sticking out at the side. Next work two chain and turn our work and slip stitch in the top of your first double crochet. Then work two chain and slip stitch in the top of the next one and work two chain and slip stitch just near the join there, in the top of the th third double crochet and fasten off. So I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with my grey to attach the beak just in the bottom there. Now for the beak, I join in the last part I did in the second stitch up from the corner. So in there I'm using my grey and I work three chain Now I'm going to work a joined double crochet and two treble 
over the same stitch as the chain and the next two stitches. So I put my yarn around the hook once, hook into the same stitch as the chain and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops, then I put my yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch on my light brown just before the corner, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the next two loops. I've got three loops on my hook. Then I put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the first stitch on the black and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn through the next two loops. I've got four loops left, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through all the loops and fasten off. And that's the beak done. I'll work the plume once I've put it all together. So I'll just weave in the ends and we'll be back and put it together. Now here's my pieces. I've got the body, the wing, the eye and the head markings. The first things I'll do is embroider a black dot on the eye and I'll embroider the markings on the tummy part and the wing the wing markings are much thicker than the markings on the tummy. The next things I'll do is attach the eye to the face marking about there. If possible, I like to have a bit of black showing round the edge of it. And I'll attach the wing to the body just in about there. The next thing I do is attach the face marking the black part goes up against the side and the brown goes at the edge there. If it's a bit big, just gather it in a bit to make it fit. For this plume, I join my cotton about three stitches back from this brown section. So this stitch here, I'll be using my black And I work 11 chain. I work one double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Then I work two treble in the next stitch. For a treble you put your yarn around the hook twice at the beginning. One treble in the next stitch. and a joined double crochet over the following two stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch and then slip stitch into each remaining chain. Slip stitch into the head and fasten off. And that's the plume done. So I'll just weave in those ends 
and I'll put a few white dots just around the neck there and then I'll be back to show you the finished quail. And there's the finished quail. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details on my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.